uh, I suppose when I think of um, building a website and you go back to, I talked about how I work with a client. Firstly, I understand the target market. The next thing that I do is um, I look at their products and services and I do the keyword research like I talked about. Then if they haven't got a website, then I'll look to you know, register the domain name and help build it up. So I wanted to talk briefly on the idea of what you should be doing with your domain names. Now, uh, with a, a domain name, typically if it's a local business, uh, unless you're starting a business from scratch, it might be a good idea and what you'll learn and walk away with from today, you might want to build your business name around some keywords that your searchers are looking for because that way you can incorporate it into your domain name and throughout your website. But if you've already got a, a business um, and the business is already named, typically I just go for the brand name because we can still, you can still rank a website um, for any particular phrase, even if the keyword isn't in the domain name. Sometimes if the keyword's in the domain name, you'll just get some quick wins, easy wins, which is again, coming back to Melbourne SEO services, that's why we built the name around Melbourne SEO services. Um, usually I go for um, two to three words long. Um, I avoid using hyphens and um, probably not the best example uh, for Melbourne SEO services, and we kind of thought about this after the fact. We probably should have gone for .com.au. We did register the .com.au because it does play a little bit of a part in the algorithm, but we'd already started building links to it, and I thought, you know, we're past the point of no return here. Let's just build it on .com. So if I had my time again, I'd go .com.au. Especially for local business, you'll find you do end up getting just, uh, especially when you're looking for local business that is area specific, it'll help in the organic searches and also help in your uh, Google Places listing as well. Go for .com, um, .au, mainly because that, that's what everybody knows. And up until recently, to register a .com.au name has been quite uh, difficult. Like you'd have to have a registered business name in the name of the domain name that you wanted to register. The, the rules have been relaxed a little bit more. You still have to have a registered ABN number here in Australia. So um, it makes it quite difficult for people overseas to come in here and purchase our domain names, which is brilliant because now we can get really good domain names. If you compare uh, other industries with .com over in the States and things like that, you try and get uh, Painter La Jolla or La Jolla Painting .com and they're all gone. All the suburb type things are gone. But here in Australia, because of that little hurdle, there's still a massive hole there that people can still jump into. We've just registered a whole lot of domain names, um, which is Melbourne, and then insert industry name, .com.au. And we're getting .com.au's, and you want to go for .com.au because that's what sticks in the mind. Um, that said though, dot, .net .au, look, if, if you can't get your perfect match, do that. Um, and then .org if you're more of an organisation or some sort of charity or something like that. 